Hi, Kari. How are you doing today? I am lovely. How are you doing, Megan? So far, so good. I could use another cup of coffee, though. How about yourself? Absolutely. You want to you wanna pause it and, and go get, <laughs> no, go get some I'm coffee? Good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, I do want to ask, what was it like coming back to this character? Because uh, a lot of people were really excited when they saw the shorts, and then to see Teen Titans come back with the full cast, a lot of people were really excited. Yeah, no, it was great. I actually... I was told that we were going to start doing uh, Teen Titans again, and uh, and Greg, who um, who plays Beast Boy, he literally would text me or call me every month or so. But when when we didn't have a show, and was like, "Kai, are we doing Teen Titans? I think we're doing Teen Titans. I feel like we should be doing Teen Titans." And uh, and I think that he just kind of he's got that kind of crazy spirit thing that just makes things happen. And uh, and. Next thing I know, Sam Register kind of pulled me aside at WonderCon and said, um, and said, you know, we're going to do some more Titans. And literally, my phone buzzed, and it was Greg saying, Kari, are we doing Titans? I was like, yes. You can finally say yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. That was my first voiceover audition was, was uh, for Teen Titans, for, for Cyborg. So, so it was pretty much just me kind of bouncing off the walls having a great time <laughs> and uh and so to come back and be able to do that it it really means that that i can do whatever i want because it's just me you know in different sort of moods you know cyborg and whatever kind of venue or outlet i'm, I'm doing it is re really just me because i'd never done anything before i wasn't doing a character i was just having fun you know so so uh yeah yeah i can't i can't believe that it's been like i don't what 12 years over 10 years yeah yeah, yeah that, that uh, I've been doing this character and uh, yeah it's it's an incredible blessing uh, with uh, with cyborg he's always been a lot of fun but the new show Teen Titans go was a shift into more of a comedic take than like a serialized yeah, with a but serious at the same story. time I also was a, a bear in a tutu in one of the old episodes <laughs> you know I also uh, you know ran around you know uh, trying to eat everything in the city you know ATMs you know you know park benches you know things like that I mean that that the nice thing about the the first show was that it did get dark sometimes but it also was very silly I mean we kind of did whatever we wanted to and so um and so to, to do Teen Titans Go I mean yeah there was a little bit of a uh, a transition because every once in a while the entire team would die but but other than that you know getting used to the fact that okay we'll just come back you know, in uh, in a few minutes, and pretend like it never happened, and uh, and so it was more like it's kind of like Bugs Bunny meets Teen Titans or something like that, and uh, and I kind of think of it as a uh, as an eleven minute dream from the old show, like like uh, like if they had a dream, you know, this was, is what it would be, you know, Teen Titans, and they wake up and be like, what, oh my, what in the world just happened? Oh, okay, it was just a dream. Then they go back to sleep and have another 11-minute dream. You know, that was but, weird. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so it's all essentially, you know, kind of, it's all us, you know, just, um, just having a little bit more fun because we, we don't have some kind of serialized plot. So it's like, it's like if it's funny, do it. <laughs> That's how we feel. That's how we feel. Now, you mentioned it was like a crossover. Uh, we had a crossover with Young Justice earlier uh -huh. this season. What other crossovers would you like to see in the future? Oh, I don't know. Um, I would love a, a crossover with, with uh, the uh, the Justice League, maybe, or um, I don't know, Scooby Doo. You know, it's all Warner Brothers. Um, it's close enough. It's close. I think it is Warner Brothers, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that'll work. So we could do that. Get, get some Scooby stuff. Yeah, I think that'd, that'd be, be fun. Cool. Solve a mystery, dude. Let's get in the van. Let's do it. You know. So, uh, since you're a fantastic improviser and you said that they kind of let you do what you want, do they give you the chance to just kind of riff with the other actors? Well, they don't give us the chance, but we do it anyway. <laughs> and then, uh, and, and if it happens, be, no, actually, everybody's really fluid. You know, the writers write the script, but then the artists come and, and they get ideas and they, they rewrite it. And then uh, we'll get ideas and we rewrite it. And then they'll just, they'll leave things out. You know, they'll leave like, they'll, they'll say write a song or they'll write a song and then they won't put any music in and just have us make it up, you know? And uh, instead of giving us uh, any kind of heads up, you know? I, I'm used to like just taking my guitar with me now if there's a song because half the time they, they have no clue as to how it's gonna turn out or whatever. So it's all very fluid and, and, um, and I think that lends itself to, to keeping it fresh and fun. And these guys are nuts. They're nuts, the, some of the stuff they come up with, you know? But it's always brilliant. It always ends up being incredible, so. 
I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's always good to be prepared. Exactly, exactly. And I suppose I am, you know, because uh, we've been doing, you know, these characters for so long now. It's, uh, it feels like, you know, no matter what situation they, they put us in, we've got enough of a background to, to know how they're going to react, you know. Now, we heard that Weird Al is going to be a guest in an upcoming episode yes. of Dark Side. Yes. What was it like getting to be in the booth with Weird Al? It, it was awesome. It was awesome. And first of all, it's uh, we don't have many guest stars on the show. Lots of times it's, it's uh, just us. And, um, but, uh, but we ha have them every once in a while. But everybody lost their mind. <laughs> when Weird Al was there. Even Michael Jelinek, who's like, who's, uh, I mean, he's hilarious, but, but in a, like a, a calm, um, dark, uh, uh, everything, everything is, is horrible and, uh, and the world's going to end kind of way. You know, it's like, like uh, Michael, how you doing? I'm having a great day, how are you, Car? You know, he's just very, very low key and, and chill. And even his, his eyebrows slightly perked, you know? And, uh, and uh, he got upset because he, he couldn't find the courage to ask um, Weird Al to take a picture with him. So of course, I was like, hey Weird Al, he doesn't want to, want to say, but he really wants a picture with you, you know? And so that embarrassed him. So there was another reason for him to be really upset. But, uh, but, but he got his picture, right? Exactly, and I saw a little twinkle in his eye. So there you go. Yeah, we, we all loved it. I mean, it's crazy. That's Weird Al. It's Weird Al. And I just love that he's dark side because there gonna be so many people who are gonna be so mad that he's dark side. Oh my gosh. One last question. Uh, we at After Buzz are big Robots in Disguise fans. Yeah. What's your favorite part about getting to voice Grimlock? Oh my gosh. My, my favorite part is being able to hang with, uh, with my cast. I love those guys so much. We, we have a ball and um, and uh, and I get to be kind of the comedy relief, and and um, I just blurt things out, and you know sometimes they get in there, sometimes they don't. I bring a little of that that uh, Teen Titans go, you know, kind of mentality to the um, to the proceedings. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and and also, I mean, I grew up on Transformers. I, c I can't believe that I'm playing Grimlock, you know. And I mean, he looks so cool. He, he's uh, he's got a, he's, his personality is he's such a big teddy bear, you know. I, I there's not much I don't love about it, honestly, Megan. Oh, he's Alexis's um, personal favorite. So thank you so so much for well, taking cool. the time well, to talk Alexis, to us. Well, Alexis, you and I agree. Let's talk about it sometime. 